Hi guys, this is the third of three videos where we have been looking at the physical properties we use to identify different minerals. In this video, I will be looking at a table which summarizes all the mineral properties and associates them with their minerals. We will also have a look at a flow chart which shows us the path we should look at in order to try and identify minerals. Here we have a table that summarizes all the different types of minerals their luster, colour, streak, hardness, cleavage and fracture, and the crystal structure. I won't go over each mineral specifically, but just so you can have a look and compare this to samples when we look at the samples in the next video. The colour, as I said, is not such a great indicator, whereas the streak is more consistent. The hardness of a mineral is almost always consistent and is a good indicator of what mineral we're looking at. The cleavage and fracture, which often matches the crystal structure, is also a very good indicator. And luster is sometimes a good thing to look at when we're trying to consider what sort of mineral we're looking at. Although the luster of a mineral can be changed through to weathering of the outside of a mineral. And finally, here's a quick summary to see if we can decide what sort of mineral we're looking at in the lab. Firstly, we'll ask ourselves, does the mineral get easily scratched by a pin? When we're looking at this question, we're actually considering the hardness of the mineral. So here we can say that all of these minerals are less hard than the pin. So if yes, our mineral is scratched by the pin, then we would ask, is the mineral pale or dark? If the mineral is pale, we would then see, does the mineral